Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NDP Live at 5. I'm your host, Ben Davis. Thank you so much for tuning in. we got a fantastic set for you tonight. My two guests were the former president of the NDP Live Club and former anchors. It's Andrew Davis and J.J. Gresco. Good afternoon, our name. My name is J.J. Gresco. My name is Andrew Davis. And these are your new and improved announcements. Guys, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> our pleasure. Yeah, thank you for having us on. So just some basic background information, a quick question. What have you guys been up to since graduating NDP? Uh, well, I am currently at UNLV uh, in Las Vegas uh, playing golf and uh, working towards my business degree. Uh, I'm doing firefighting, so I'm currently in the academy right now. Graduated in May and hopefully going to get a job after that. JJ, with golf, what, uh, what plans did you have for that going forward? Uh, well, my plans are to play professionally, and that's why I chose my school. Uh, my head coach, uh, Dwayne Knight, is a great coach. He's been there for a while, and uh, I'm really learning a lot. And my team is really good. I think we're ranked 24th in the country right now. Congrats, UNLV and Dwayne. Now, the second question I got for you is a little blast to the past, if you may. What do you miss about NDP? I personally miss like the people, like coming to school every day, seeing all your friends, seeing all the teachers that you like to see, going to like some of your good classes, and like, because I mean, like JJ and I had what was it, like the first six or seven classes. Like, we had all of our classes basically together, second semester. So it was kind of it was very fun to come to school and like see each other and have a great time. Yeah, I don't know how they let that happen, yeah, but <laughs> we literally had like maybe two classes that weren't together, but um. I'd say I miss a lot of the teachers. The biggest thing, though, is community, because, I mean, college is a big campus, so you, you don't see the same people every day. And your friends, your relationships are a lot different with your friends. Um, the other thing I would say is just knowing your teachers is such a big thing, especially, like, going your first period and knowing who that is and, like, looking forward to, and they'll, they know who you are. That's a big thing that's different about college. Um, so it, just, it was nice seeing a lot of the teachers that are still here that I had. Now, let's talk NDP live. What originally were you guys planning to do when you took over the club last year? Well, Andrew was in the club first, so I'm going to have him start with that. So what the club originally started out as was kind of just a way that we could help out the social media aspect of Notre Dame. And then it kind of slowly started evolving into like the announcements that we had last year. Uh, the NDP Live at Five that you're doing right now, and just a whole bunch of it just kind of really evolved into something bigger than we originally thought and wanted it to be. But it's great that it ended up in the way that it is in the direction that it's going. Andrew had always told me about NDP Live, and I mean, I was never involved with any clubs in high school until NDP Live, actually. Actually, that's not true. I had <laughs> Ultimate Frisbee Club for a while, but yeah, that, that, Andrew's in that one as well. But like, <laughs> first one that I really took like a big rolling and wanting to like move forward was NDP Live and Andrew had always told me about it and I learned like a lot about it and I've always been into videos and technology and I thought it'd be a great idea to promote some sports and do some like basically hype videos that yeah. we always used to see at pep rallies I'm like that'd be something that our club could do and I know some of the videos were made um, by some past presidents and when it started when I like really took on role I would say in vision would be second semester and that's when we had the idea of uh, video announcements. And I told Andrew, I'm like, I think this would be a really cool thing we can do. We could do it live, or we could pre-record it and show it to the school live, um, or all at the same time, that is. And it just kind of evolved from there. I mean, our first video announcement was terrible. <laughs> and we just plan to show off things that our clubs do, our sports do, and just bring new visuals and ways of showing you what is going on at Notre Dame. Just so you don't hear a voice every day on the intercom, because videos are better than voices and hopefully we're funnier agreed so yeah these are your new and improved afternoon announcements it was definitely it was a good trial run it pretty much started like this of me going back back and forth and it was very glitchy well and where you're at now it's it's one of those things that I've loved how the club has evolved to this and hopefully whoever picks up after you keeps building on it and it just big snowball effect Absolutely. Could die. That's the other aspect of the thing. It might just might just cease to exist. But that's you know. That's why we got you involved this year. Absolutely. The last question I got for you guys is sort of about your visions, your plans for it. What were some of the things that you never got to do, that you wanted to do? You got anything for this? Oh yeah, actually I do. So uh, last last year we had this, and it actually got pretty far. We just didn't get to filming it. It was uh, we wanted to do a school-wide music video, kind of like where you go down the center of the school and everybody's involved, and it's kind of a good way to 
just to show like a good community, like what JJ was talking about. And we actually we had a meeting for it, <laughs> and after that meeting, nothing ever happened. So that was something that I <laughs> I wish we could have gotten to because I felt like it would have been really cool, would have helped out the school a lot. Um, and that's just something that I really wish I could have gotten to record and edit, but unfortunately we just didn't get to it. So we're going to cut to a quick commercial break. When we get back, we're going to have a fun game segment. It's called Blind Painter. I'll explain it when we get back. Joe's Barbecue and Foot Massage. Joe's Barbecue and Foot Massage. You better come down here. <laughs> Welcome back. JJ Gresco, Andrew Davis is still here in the studio. This segment is called Blind Painter. So essentially what's going to happen is Andrew over here is going to wear these, uh, these sunglasses, the post-it notes, didn't have budget for a blindfold, my bad. So, exactly, so you're gonna wear these and then you're gonna paint a portrait of JJ here. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Me too. Make me look pretty. All right. That's impossible. All right. There it is, you found it. What are you drawing? <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, the whole blind painter thing seems kind of like an oxymoron. <laughs> Doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> done, he's done. All right, let's see the masterpiece here. Andrew, um, what do you think? I definitely, I think it looks a lot like him. I'm surprised that I got the face in, the, in kind of the right part of the head. I got the golf club right there, which mm -hmm. I'm really impressed about. Golf club's important. And, that is important. Uh, and I tried to draw him in the seat right here, and I guess I ended up drawing right where his So I, I just have a quick question. You drew him, and then you drew him again. <laughs> yes, because what? I figured I had to draw him sitting. What did, what did you, was this the chair right here? <laughs> This was supposed to be his foot. You see, there's, that was four, his four, there's four legs. So like, so like, you see, this is his head. It comes down. Okay. And that's like him sitting. This is, I don't know what this there's is. There's only one arm. Oh, no, the other one's through my neck. I see. Yeah. Never mind. And then I drew, uh, wrote his name, wrote the uh, college he's going to. And then that's, that's supposed to be the sun right there. That's a quarter of the sun. That is about 13% of the sun. Well, it's sun. supposed to be like one of those like corner suns, you know. Like, really? Because right, it's... Where it comes out. I know it's really far away. It's in the center of the vase. <laughs> and then uh, after that, when, when every art, good artist does is they finish with their signature. So that's my signature right there. That's the signature. So yeah. I guess I have one more question about his, his face right here. So you drew yeah. his, his two eyes and a mouth. No nose, no ears. Don't need them. <laughs> you drew it probably around where his forehead would be. I, I'm not, is that just like a creative choice that you made? Or? Uh, I think being blindfolded kind of ended <laughs> my, <laughs> my ability to figure out where his, his face should have been on his head. Mm -hmm. So and if I didn't have the blindfold, this would have been a lot better. Absolutely. Well, maybe one Very day smooth, we can, smooth, yeah. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, Andrew, thank you so much for being here. Thanks. JJ, I appreciate it. Wouldn't be here without these guys. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next week. <laughs> I'm going to frame that. I'm going to frame that. <laughs>